Hello Chisters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today it's an update and I can't even remember which one, probably number three, but don't hold me to that. Uh, on our 1 in 3 50 scale HMS Kent a Type 23 frigate from the Royal Navy. Uh, although we have uh, sold, I can't remember if it's three, four to the Chilean Navy, uh, some, some of our older ones. Well, not even older ones, I think they just obviously decided which ones they were going to sell, but uh, good to see them carrying on and not being made into razor blades, but uh, still sad that, uh, you know, we're, we're, a, we're a navy with hardly any ships, really. Uh, so we'll just downsize a few more. Uh, anyway, I love this, uh, I love this uh, particular class of frigate I have no idea why as I say I'm an ex-infantry soldier I'm not a, I'm not a sailor but I love ships of, of you know from the Great War upwards I love sailing ships uh, but uh, uh, container ships yeah trawlers yeah and why trawlers but I do <laughs> uh, but particularly military ships uh, so of all descriptions I'm I would be quite happy building a tanker fleet auxiliary as we call them in the UK uh, it doesn't really matter but I just happen to love the Type 23 uh, and I will get another one or two of these when finances permit because I do like them so much. Uh, so this is HMS Kent by the way I can't remember if I said that or not. Uh, yeah I know I forget as soon as I say things. Right uh, its progress has been um, slow uh, mainly because I've, you know you know me I, I juggle a lot of projects I'm a commission uh, painter for figures so um, I'll see that's what I'm, my brushes are <laughs> all over the place with with uh, Napoleonic figures at the moment 18 millimeter um, I've also been painting some dwarfs on the side yeah I, I quite like the little fellas uh, I'm trying to teach myself non-metallic metal uh, and I'm using a, uh, some of the uh, Spanish painters as inspiration I've named them before uh, and uh, and I will put a video when I when I do some shout outs I'll be doing some more shout outs and things like that to them even because uh, they're, they're really what they're putting up is really helpful and it's helped me on that side of it anyway we're digressing yet again uh, I'm hoping to push the Tommy's War forward I've completely scaled down the yeah it had to happen completely scaled down the, the vignette um, it was just getting too cumbersome uh, really um, so I've scaled it right the way down uh, and more on that in, in future videos but I'd like to get that really pushed on next week some stage probably latter part next week but you're here for the ships or maybe not but <laughs> we're supposed to be talking about the ships so let's get on with it right uh, so what have I done uh, this weekend I painted the keel uh, so you know the non corrode or the corrosion resistant uh, red paint Mine came out more browny red, which, you know, there's a lot of gradients of whole red. Uh, I think mine's probably a tad on the brown side. So I shall be, I was. I plan to put some oils here and there on this towards the end of the build. So I will probably be lightening that up in places with uh, with oil paints. I could try and, uh, and lighten it up again with just spraying it, but... I, I don't want to go over the top. I was almost happy with what I got. It just looks a bit uh, a bit brown. But before I did that, I uh, used a splatter mask. And my plan would always be to try and reproduce canning on the ship. So that's where the ship's hull compresses onto its frame. You know, the, just like a wooden frame of a ship. Obviously, it's got its uh, <laughs> frames. <laughs> I like ships, but I'm not saying I'm, I'm nautically minded. Uh, and even on the the upper parts works of the ship, you know, whether it's the bridge structure, the the helicopter hangar, all that stuff. Um, I don't think it's just obviously wave compression because it's it's not always going to hit up those top areas. I think it's it's down to just compression movement of the ship, you know. Um, and you get so you get a, 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 a ripple effect. If, if that's the right word but uh, in and out anyway like dings on a car uh, but on a bigger scale and I'd planned I'd seen a guy do it uh, on modelwarships.com again I'm not a member of that forum uh, but it is extremely handy uh, even if you don't want to be a member to go along and check the photos out and things like that and uh, a guy had actually shown how he'd done them uh, 
believe it was there, it could have been one in 350 scale ships, which I'm a member of on uh, on Facebook group. I can't honestly remember that. And uh, he'd done it and he'd explained in millimetres where <laughs> far he'd gone. And it looks absolutely fantastic. But I just had a complete, as usual, uh, crisis of confidence. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I just, I'm going to stuff this up. Um, I'll, I'll just know I am. It's my first ship since I was a kid uh, building, and I really didn't want to go to the extent that I'm doing with the bits of scratch building and that, and then completely stuff up the paintwork. So I use a splatter mask. Now, a lot of people won't like it. They'll say, oh, it's marbly, you know, marble effect and that, but I actually quite like it. Um, and I was looking at, again, modelship, warships.com. I did mean to write the guy's name down just to thank him, even though he'll probably never see this video. Uh, I think he's a German guy and he's got a whole section on the Type 23 and he's, he's done a, been on a couple of walk-arounds when they visited, I presume, Germany uh, and some just where they're alongside. And uh, they have been absolutely invaluable, especially for scratch building little bits and pieces on, on not that I've got very far, but you know, you, you get to see underneath things and whatever. Um, so. Yeah, I've done. I've done. I haven't done the deck painting, uh, and I haven't done the black boot line yet. That's going to be tomorrow. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm not very good at, uh, at stuff like this, uh, but you only get better by doing it. Um, so yeah, it's, that's the paintwork that I've done. Obviously, I've not painted any of the the bits. Not we've seen a lot yet, but that ra radar mast and whatever, and all the yards. None of that's been primed, and because obviously metal primer on that. Uh, none of that's been done yet, and. Uh, probably won't be for another couple of weeks because obviously I'm building up structures at the moment. Uh, I I know that some of the guys say they don't agree with building them in modules like Trumpet is showing. Uh, they prefer to build them on the ship and then build them up. Uh, I've said before I'm, I'm going on the the Trumpeter way of doing things roughly. I, I have made a few few things that I won't do just because they are, you can just think, see things going to get broken off mast wise and things. But as I say, with my mental health problems, I'm not the best at following uh, the written instructions and I, at the best of times. So I think if I start interposing different ways of doing things, I'm just going to be in a right mess and it'll just drag me down. So it's better for the moment for me to use HMS Kent as a test bed and see where where things work and where things don't work. And if I think, yeah, these guys are absolutely right, it's got to be top down, build up type of thing. Then that's what I'll do. Uh, but I'm, as I say, I'm just at the moment basically following what what these guys are doing. Bearing in mind, though, I'm flitting backwards and forwards with Photo Etch from Atlantic Models, excellent by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm flitting backwards and forwards, putting that on as well. So so obviously there is deviations and things, and I'm marking them all off with me little glow pen just to highlight pen that's what it's after uh, just to you know tell myself where I actually am and what I've done uh, but I do that on other builds and <laughs> it's still go awry starfighter uh, I'm looking at you uh, but yeah um, so I've done that I just started doing the bridge structure over the last couple of nights uh, I've done a bit of it's not a lot of fillings needed um, and we'll have a look at that in a minute so yeah uh, I'm waffling without you getting to see a lot, so let's go down to the bench. Uh, let's see my marble effect looking, <laughs> looking destroyer that probably isn't wearing the exact uh, Royal Navy colours. I'll be probably going to get stones thrown at me for that as well, but I'm doing my best. You can only do your best, can't you? Join me in a minute, guys. All right, guys, here we are uh, with our ship on the chocks. Let me just, oh, I'm not going to be able to move my chair because uh, I've got my tripod right in front of it. So this is what we've got done so far paint wise anyway. Uh, as I say not a huge amount to show and now as usual I'm desperately looking for a pointy stick which I don't possess. Hang on a second. Yep, let's just knock everything over Gav. Oi! Nice one. Can we get that looking something like? I bet we can't. I don't know why I bother because you all know how messy my bench is. No, leaving it like that. Right, uh, let's see if we can go in. So you've seen, <laughs> that's Gav trying to get all the shipping. 
so that's what I've done uh, with the splatter mask now bearing in mind I am going to weather the ship up so some may disappear I, I don't really want to make that cover it up any more than I, I have As I say, I'm sure the purists out there aren't going to like it. Um, but I was looking at the photographs for something else, just for some scratch building ideas. All right, let's put it on there at the moment. I was looking at some uh, some photographs, as I was saying, uh, for scratch building. And I was looking at, uh, it was the rear end, and I can't remember if it was Montrose. I'm not sure which one I was looking at now. I was looking, there were so many Type 23s. Uh, and I was I was looking at the uh, the stern of the ship. That's the word I was after. Not the rear, not the back, the stern. And uh, and looking down the one side. And I'm not going to say if that's port or starboard, but the light on the paintwork. And yes, there was some canning involved. As in, as I say, that the, the compression of the the ship's steel uh, or whatever the composite stuff they're making with these days. And uh, there was a canning, uh, sorry, there was a light effect with the paintwork as well. And it, I'm sorry, but it, it very much looked like that. Because at first I thought, oh, I've, I've gone too, you know, too far with the canning here, or I need to put more layers of paint on. Uh, and I'm really, it's showing up now because I've got so many lights on it. Um, But when, when the light hits it at different places, it's not actually so, so noticeable. Bearing in mind from the tape up, there's going to be like about a five mil uh, black boot line put along the top of that. So some more of that's going to go. Not a lot, but, uh, you know. So that's what I've got done. Uh, I'll, oh, I'll just push her forward. Uh, and that's, that's it in the raw. So I'll show you the splatter mask in a minute. Uh, it's just used for aircraft and you use it for tanks and that as well if you use it for, <laughs> you use it for ships uh, so yeah um, let me just I don't know. the one thing I was, I was, was annoyed myself is all these bits I put on the edge here stuff I've made myself bits of, that I keep knocking them all off um, but again it's just trial and error um, here we go the two top bits are lights and they'll be made a bit better. Um, I'll just shove paper in there and I'll try and keep as much of the blacks. But you can see the canning there which doesn't look too bad. So that's my painting efforts. Now what I'll do is... Come on, sit back in your cradle. You don't want to now, do you? Uh, what I'll do is you know, take this away, uh, put, put it back up uh, and I'll show you a couple of the other bits that I've been working on. Right guys, we've uh, managed to dig out a couple of the bits I've been working on. Let's hopefully I don't uh, push the rest of these guys, little guys over. Uh, what you're looking at here is the aircraft hangar. Sorry, and I'm just realised I hadn't turned the uh, sound off. Get really, if I don't put the sound off, uh, I get photo bombed with it or video bombed with everybody's uh, videos coming up. Right, sorry, digressing. Uh, so we're looking at the aircraft hangar. What I really do like about uh, these trumpeters kits, and this is my first one, so again, I might get shot down, people saying there's not enough detail, it's not very good. Uh, they do have a lot of the different, uh, you know, boxes, um, how, how well they're defined at this scale, you, you, can, you can debate. Um, I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe that might be the torpedo uh, firing uh, hatches. Uh, the one thing you find that I've noticed the doors, whether you know, some people say they stick out, they don't. I, I actually don't mind that, I think they'll take paint well. But there's no uh, handles, do what are they, latches, dogs, hatches, uh, hatches, handles, I'm not sure, anyway, door handles, <laughs> whatever. But they're not replicated like they are on the ships which are literally all the way around from what I can see. Um, now I'm thinking of getting some, the only thin, the thinnest wire I've got and trying to just replicate um, you know some door handles just in 
bits of wire. I don't don't know how well that's going to look. Uh, I'm not very good as we as we know. Um, you can see by the trunking that they've got here, it's minutely thin. I don't even have any wire that thin, and the problem I'm running on, or running up to, I should say, is when I put my own bits and pieces on it's probably I'm knocking the scale about probably but I'm enjoying doing it because I think there's a lot more it's quite busy as it is oh, you know I'm not I'm not decrying that they've done I, my opinion they've done a good enough job on that uh, the, the doors seem fairly generic I would imagine and they could do with being a lot better but uh, I don't have enough on my I believe it's my Atlantic models one there's a, there's a few door hatches but as I said to you guys, I think before, uh, for the amount that's on the kit and the amount that's, I don't have enough photo etch in the photo etch stuff and I don't want to do a half and half job so I'm going to leave them all as they are. I'm going to do a test one and see how well it looks with some wire just trying to replicate those raised bits on the doors because they're quite pronounced. As I say, it's a shame. I, I'd like to show you photographs, but um, unfortunately, as I say, with copyright and that, I'm always a bit worried about doing that. Uh, I'm replacing all the ladders, but I'm not actually chiselling these off. What I found was, uh, when I was looking at the photographs, the ladders always stand off a fair bit. So I, I cut one off to size and put it on top, and it, it just gave that bit of standoffness when you don't really see the 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 ladder underneath so that's what i've been doing i've been keeping them on but but it helps push the photo etch off slightly uh, as you see there's no work being done apart from that they asked me to cut sometimes they ask you to drill a hole and it's already there and other times they ask you to drill a hole and it's, it's obviously not there but uh here's our main hanger uh, there will be a you can either have a full brass shut down. Uh, I'm thinking of cutting it and then we can cut it to work because it's obviously a roll up door of some description. I thought maybe having it like, you know, a third down just to show it's there. I've not decided. I'll, I need to look at some photographs yet because I probably would like to. You have safety netting that's deployed on the flight deck, uh, obviously, just in case people get blown towards the, the sea uh, you've got a chance of hitting the safety safety netting first um, now inside I presume they've got trunking here uh, uh, and then some framework uh, these would be lights I'd imagine uh, there was a huge in raised uh, M can't, is it 12 whatever whatever this sprue was uh, and I kept looking down the <laughs> down to see how if you could see it you probably oh, sorry you probably couldn't when it's on deck when it, the whole because the ship's so long you'd have to be really you know wanting to find it i'd imagine uh, i had plans rather foolish of me as usual to to maybe do bits and pieces inside the hangar i think with my skill level i'm i'm jumping the gun a bit really uh, so i'm going to leave it I'm, i am as you see i've been filling these and i'll be sending these out tonight at some stage um, and I shall just paint it uh, black inside. Uh, I may put um, uh, some. I'll paint these up. I mean, I imagine they're red at night and, or in you know, obviously blackout conditions and and white in normal working conditions. So I'm going to just paint them like a obviously as if they're on. Probably with an ice lemon mix, uh, make it nice and luminous. It's not just good for for non-metallic metal. Uh, yeah, so. Um, that's the that's what we've got done on this so yeah all these are going to be replaced which i can show you on the bridge section which i'm working on at the moment stuck this together uh last night uh, the sides and the top that one hasn't got too bad it just needs a bit of a clean up uh, i used the i would advise you to to put it on the deck to use it as a uh, jig uh, because it, mine didn't want to, I didn't and it didn't want to fit but luckily everything was still not completely uh, cooked off and I with a bit of jiggling I, I got it on there and just left it sitting there for for 10-15 minutes and then took it off and, and played around with anything that needed it uh, but I'm keeping it off the ship at the moment where I'm, I'm doing doing things that I want to do to it which is obviously the ladders uh, there'll be railings along here and, and obviously around here uh, these are 
not 100 percent, but i think these are in on on the ship that this section is actually painted black and i believe that's the ship's running lights and they're not rounded like that there's actually um well i presume that i think they are the ship's running lights i'm not 100 percent though but there's two obviously uh recesses in there where if they are ships running lights they are uh we've got i almost took that bit off thinking now i haven't touched that at all but you can see there's only a can we see no we can't really let's see if we're getting a bit closer that little mark there i almost took that off just thinking it was a something in the mold and then i thought i'll just check the other side and i'm glad i did because we got this here and I, i've got to look at that see what that's supposed to be um but yeah, I, I want to do a fair bit to this where possible. Uh, underneath, I've just put just this little plastic card bit. There was a, some big sink marks there, but not so much to cover those. I'd actually hacked them out before I realised. I looked at a ship uh, and on a walk round, and it was just like a, a box of some description for obviously the antenna or whatever that's going to come up on there. So I just put two, two uh, plastic box. I'm just trying to just any little bit that I can do with my real basic skills just to bring it up slightly uh, there's a slight slight rise to these um, I've done my best I could push it down as you need to see it needs some filling yet that's going to be done uh, tonight because as you can see there's a very slight gaps in places uh, nothing to shout about though but uh, you know it just needs a wipe of uh, I use Vallejo putty on that um, but yeah as you can see I'm slowly going around the la uh, just putting the ladders on top uh, this type of trunking here there's also trunking that runs underneath it it's, it's, it's like this flat type so we get some styrene a bit thicker uh, than I've got and 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 go around in places uh, and I'm also putting some other wires and things under here as well uh, as I say my only problem is the the trunking wire that you can see here is really dainty and although I've got some very thin wire for tying on with fishing and stuff um things for making flies they said on i just got it off ebay uh it, it's still slightly bigger probably than uh, than this stuff but uh you know it, it's just fun enjoy it's just enjoying trying to trying to work what things out you know as i say that it's a shame there aren't any books on the on on the ship uh, because I don't know enough I'm looking at it I'd love to know all the different boxes some have warning signs on and what I've noticed as well uh, not necessarily on this one I'm just using this as an example because um, but there's you know fire hoses there's so much more you can do to this so I don't mean so much make a fire hose but but there's red bits on here there's not they're not all just gray so don't fall into the trap you know do your research because there's a there's a lot of things that you can either add to this or at least paint them paint them on to make the ship that bit more different uh, also uh, I can't I'm not going to get that any closer really uh, you can hardly see I'm, I'm going to actually tell you what I want you to see first um, here just on the end of this fuzzy bit here there's a little raised pit now that is supposed to be the windscreen wipers they have a, a smaller box which you could probably say that is I'm trying you can't even see them to be honest with you so we're looking we are looking with my knackered uh, tweezers there's a just there there's a raised bit it's so tiny you can hardly see it now that you could call that the base part of the windscreen wipers then it has a lot hot well quite a larger box that sits out has a wire going off obviously cable going off to for the power supply and then obviously you've got your windscreen wiper well i wouldn't be trying to do, replicate the windscreen wiper but i would have i was hoping to make these boxes now i'm just wondering now am i going to make them too big for the scale because i'm just i've got no mass abilities you know i've got head problems and try, trying to replicate things in scale and that is it's, it's pretty hard for me um but oh, you can just see in those little boxes if you're caught in the light there i would like to make them more than they are because they're actually quite prominent on that on the front of the ship like that now, i'm going to run some filler in here as well uh, obviously there's a bit of filler there um, 
but a lot of these you could do with leaving a very slight uh, panel line if you want to call it that in a lot of this fabrication because obviously they're stuff fabricated on other stuff you know so they're not blended out we're not talking like a car body or or, or something you know that's completely smooth um, but yeah underneath here uh, the, the, there's bits that can be done my only disappointment and i presume this is in scale i'm not knocking trumpet for this because I, I, as i say i have no i'm no good at scale or anything but i was hoping these on the on the other on the real ships these seem deeper which means then you can do more if that makes sense with, uh, because some of them are hidden underneath the depth of the of the metal but uh, on here they're quite s s skinny you know there's not a lot to go on um, so I'm just trying to fashion it as much as I can just little bits and pieces uh, I put these on and I've got to look because there's no matter what I did you've still got the gaps there because they, they sit on some raised bits now I think they may well be gapped on the real ships but they're, they're not just like a square type of block like these well they're not actually square but uh, there's like um, whether they're weld joins or whatever but I'm going to try and fabricate something with that as well if possible if not they'll have to be what they be but um, now this here uh, I, I've never I, I, pre, I presume this stops uh, whether it's wind damage wave damage whether it pushes pushes airflow up I, I, i'm not sure it'll be something to do with all the the antenna gear i take it because it's on it's on several parts of the ship uh, on the on the top deck uh, but you see that gap there that's going to need a bit of filler run but that there that's actually can be seen from what i can see again where they fabricated it that can be seen on the ship there's also uh, anti-slip all over it which is a dark blue colour and I'll come on to paint in a minute the, the anti-slip I was debating whether to put it on you know like when you stipple armour with um, Mr Servicer 500 I had debated doing that but again scale wise I'm wondering if it's going to be way out of scale uh, I'm not sure so I may just paint it as most people do, which is just paint it the, the colour of your choice, really. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's our bridge structure. We're going to probably have a a good week or so working on that. There's you know between the next update, you'll see little bits and pieces on. Um, uh, you know, obviously tidy up and, and whatever. But yeah, I, I, I would like to. You can just see them better lit, lit lit up slightly in the in the light. Uh, I, w I was hoping to make those I was a bit disappointed that they, they seem really t tiny you know all you guys that know things like this is that are they to I mean obviously you don't know type 23s and you haven't seen the photographs of them but are they to scale is it, what I'm saying is when they do a model like this is it all to scale do they or do they simplify it that much that it's just it's just made to you know oh well there's a there's a block there oh we can just we'll make it that size i, I don't know um but anyway i'm going to try and do something with that so that's that we've got our harpoon missiles here i keep calling them the sea wolf which is now the sea scepter uh, but i keep calling them sea wolf and they're not the harpoon and they're um surface to surface missiles so anti-ship mainly now they came already pre-molded with a frame on uh, and obviously if you're going to use the Atlantic etch you take it off and you uh, you put their their etch on now the etch is fine it's really nice as you can see nice and detailed but the one problem with all etch is you've got a frame not a flat piece of thin you know photo etch and the framework on these harpoons are quite noticeable when I've looked at the walk about walk around photographs so I've made some up as best I could with with uh, obviously styrene sheet added some little squares that they these are obviously the power conduits that, that go to the to the missiles made that with lead wire 
I, I'd just say as well, I, I, my memory's shot, but I can actually remember this, which is handy. This piece here, you do need to push it in. If you're doing the photo etch, you need to push it in. Uh, I didn't originally. I had to use my debonder and start again. Uh, it needs to be pushed into this frame here. Uh, I'd got it very. I'd got it to the end of the first frame uh, here, and uh, I was. I made a really neat job, and I was really pleased with myself. And then I was looking at the missile system itself, and I went, oh no! <laughs> so. So yeah, again, things out of scale. This, by the way, uh, this wire, I've used the lead wire because it can be manipulated easier. That will probably have to be cut off and another piece stuck on uh, because this wire, that's why it's loose and sticking up in the air. It actually goes into the uh, the uh, main, uh, not hull of the ship, but... <laughs> bridge structure area you know whatever but anyway that power goes inside the ship so that's what it'll be uh, but I've got that I don't think that's going to be long enough um, to do the job uh, so yeah uh, you can use the the, the plastic ones the plastic one does give you a, a thick frame actually uh, it doesn't look like uh, this it's just a square you know you don't see these extra raised bits you don't see this support piece down here um, but uh, that took me that took me a couple of nights. So I've been doing this really at the end of the night, you know, for an hour here. That's the other one I've made the same same thing really. Tried to make the the wire slightly longer. Uh, now when I do paint these up, this is why I'm going to try. I, I just don't know how to do it, but I'm, I'm going to try and make some warning signs because although. I've got some warning signs. One, there's there's not enough, uh, as in decals, and they don't come with the ship. This is from uh, Atlantic Models. But there's lots and lots of different ones, and I'm trying to work out how I can... I'm, I'm no good with computers, but I've got to try and work something out because it really livens the the build-up. So, uh, yeah, that's our, that's our harpoons. They're actually replacing those with a, a new system on the new frigates that are starting to come in. Well, I don't actually know if they've come in yet, but uh, they're on the drawing board. Uh, and these, these deflect the flame and the uh, backwash from the, uh, oh, these were a nightmare. <laughs> Didn't help that I think this was the first one. I cut the actual top piece off without realizing. I had to stick it on separately. Um, but at least I got this one the right inside. I've got the other one inside out. Uh, and this, I should have shown you. That's the base of our. And they sit. I mean, I've not pushed. I won't push them in yet, but they they will push in, and they fit on there, and then onto a plastic tab that then uh, goes onto the ship, and that's the other one. Uh, there's a blooming line on that one. I'll have to fill that with some description uh, because it's inside out, and that's to give you the angle of the of the other piece uh, that goes in. And that was the one that I hadn't cut off the top and I was feeling quite pleased with myself. Oh well, <laughs> it's one of Gav's builds. So uh, those of what I've, I've done a couple of other little bits but they're not enough to, to bother you with those. Uh, this is a splat mask by the way, Sp splatter mask. Let me just, uh, here we go, from AK. Beautiful uh, bit of kit this is. Uh, it comes in a frame so you can leave the frame on but it just get in the way, I'd advise you to cut it off. Um, and you can do uh, one in 72, one in 48, it's for aircraft, but it really will give you some tonal variations, uh, whether it's on armor or, or ships. So if you'd like a marbled effect ship like mine, get one of these. Uh, paint I'm using. Uh, this, uh, I'm using all these uh, at the moment. I may well, I'm quite happy to mix uh, uh, lacquer and and acrylic up if I need to. Uh, uh, this is grey blue, as it says on the tin. Uh, this is going to be for my upper work, so on the on the anti skid stuff, uh, the the dark blue, which I'll I'll show you in a second if I can uh, get it in shot on the the artwork. Uh, so that's I've decided I'm going to use that for the anti slip. Now the ship's colour I'm using at the moment is 
I put two thirds blue grey. You might well get away with that, you know, um, on a Royal Navy ship. But I added uh, a third light grey. Again, I'll probably get slated over the colours. But all you can do is your best. Uh, and I've got this in reserve, light grey. Should I wanted to highlight something up more? Um, as I say, I, when I when I do show off the the full paint, the the keel and that, I'll, that was more AK that was mixed up. Uh, so I think let me just uh, just get our our artwork. Uh, point just didn't give. Right, so bits completed at the moment, not a lot. We've got our hull completed, minus our propeller shafts and, and propellers. Uh, we've got uh, the anti-corrosion hull red, sort of, uh, painted. Mine's a bit darker than that. Uh, we've got our hull painted. You know, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, as I say, I'm sure some people won't be, but, you know, we've got to try. Uh, black boot line I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm a bit worried leaving that tape on that I'm going to peel it off because it's been I did it yesterday and I'm not going to paint till tomorrow, so I'm a bit worried about that. Uh, we're going through the process following just following following uh, trumpeter. So we've 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 built this section. There might be a couple of other bits going to appear on that yet. Not big bits, just little bits uh, scratch building, but. I just wanted to get it looking something like this first of all before I do anything else. There's only a couple of bits. I just got to see if I've got the space to fit them in. Uh, these two radar balls for a, word of a better name uh, for a better name for them. So these two here. That's what's on those two stanchions that are sticking out at the moment. Uh, I've got them pre-made, but they've obviously not been mounted yet. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're working on this section and this section at the moment, uh, which is mainly filling, uh, just filling and, and just sanding those out. Uh, we'll be doing, we've got to do all this top structure as well. Uh, I think that's about it. So yeah, that's the anti-slip, although it's blue, it's, as I say, it's got like an anti-slip. There's our harpoons uh, there. Sea Wolf here, or Sea Scepter as it is now, but it'd be Sea Wolf in these days. Uh, you can tell one of the earlier ships because of the, I think it's a Mark V gun, uh, but they're in the rounded uh, turret rather than the Crichton as they nickname it now, which is the, you know, boxy type thing that they've got on now. Uh, as I say, we're, we're slow. These are getting uh, rebuilds and everything. Uh, and I think the last one will be out of service in the 2030, something like that. And it'll be a crying shame because I'll build whatever comes along. I'd like to do the trumpeter type uh, 45 destroyer. Um, but I don't think they have as much character as these 1980s, 90, well, 1990s, 2000s ships of all nations. Uh, I think these are the last of the... Uh, good looking ships as I call them <laughs> and they're good looking for me because they've got so much you know what would now be radar clutter and that you know signature clutter but I don't care I love them um, so yeah there we go guys uh, as I'm sorry to keep you I've, I've been waffling on but it's a project I've really been enjoying uh, as I say I, I throw time at it when I can uh, it's, it's as and when um, and when I've got a bit more progress I like to give it a show um, so I think the next time you see a video of HMS Kent we'll have the black boot line on which I'll probably have to do about 20 times over I mean this is me all over I I put the red on and I put a, a band of, of tape obviously on to give me an edge to work up to and I didn't and I'd already put the marbling on and I didn't do the rest of the hull I thought well you know I'm not doing over I think I was I was spraying on 20 psi and uh, I was going along and I you know thought great and let it dry off peeled the the tape off 
I was feeling dead chuffed because apart from no bleed through, just two tiny, tiny minute notches, if you could call them that, on the straight line. Uh, but I knew it would be going to be covered over with the, the, the black blue line, so I wasn't particularly bothered. And then I looked up and then I'd got overspray. Oh, lovely, nice, very faint red. <laughs> well, it's not red, I was going to say, mine's quite dark, but going on patches of the, the upper hole. And I was terrified it was going to really show through the, uh, the grey. And it didn't so don't be lazy gav yes it's not nice but just just do a decent masking job and obviously i'll get better at the masking right that's me finally done guys uh, i won't give you a what's up next i do that in quite a few videos and that just takes more of your time up but uh there'll be other stuff coming up this week uh again uh go over and if you'd be so kind and check uh mamara uh, Jason out at uh, Model Kit Stuff. Um, he's I just started watching his video on uh, a, a, one of these one of these um, cradles for holding your ships as you build them type of thing. Uh, but he's a, he's foremost a, a ship builder, but obviously does aircraft, a bit of armour, a bit of cars, and that when he wants to. Uh, but he's basically a, a ship builder, and uh, he does some really nice work. Uh, he's doing a, a Queen, Queen Mary uh, liner build at the moment uh, and he's obviously got uh, the Megami uh, Japanese uh, cruiser seaplane carrier uh, and, and, and he's always got other bits uh, and, and, and I love his unboxings of his ship kits because I'm, I'm quite into that uh, so yeah go and check out Jason uh, that's model kit stuff as I say he's, he's a decent fella um, and uh, he knows his stuff uh, which is more than you get from this channel and he's a damn sight more stra structured on his videos <laughs> than i am so yeah go check him out as i say uh, you won't be disappointed a nice fellow and some really nice building work going on look after yourselves and we'll see each other soon if not on another hms kent video on something else